this land once changed by young man's life, as well as the life of a beautiful young princess who was being forced to marry against her will.
I hear Princess Jasmine is so spoiled, she can't even pick her own nose. She has it done her, for her by the royal nose picker. It was only that one time and I... Um, I mean, it can't be easy when people only see the princess and not the person inside. Hey, I can see the person inside you, and I think she's pretty cool. Thanks, and I really like the way you gave the food you stole to the other starving peasants. Well, someone's got to help them. Those double laws should make it tough if you're poor. Hey, we should tell the song to change those laws so all these people are happy, right? And how are we going to do that? We're just a couple of beggars. But we're the future, Aladdin. We can change the world. Anything's possible when you are my side. Hey, I'll be the sultan if you'll be my princess. Deal? Deal.
just one of these diamonds? I can feed all the starving beggars of Africa for a year. The last. Hand it to me, boy. Take it and pull me out. I'm so hungry, I can eat a camel. The lamp is almost mine. Mine! All mine! What harm is a banana gonna do, right? D, you are called to take nothing but the lamp! Oh, come on! It's just a banana! Bananas count in fire! Jamar, help me! I'll help you make your doom, street rat!
anything, I could even make you a ham sandwich. <laughs> a ham sandwich. Is this my parking? <laughs> Gee, for my first wish, I wish you to get me out of this cave. And for my second wish, I wish you to make me a prince so I can woo the princess. Ooh, one, two, wish punch. Now we're cooking with gas. A prince, it is.
If Aladdin was going to woo Princess Jasmine, he had to convince her that he was really Prince Ali of Wawa. His future and the future of Agrabah depended on it. All I have to do is answer the princess's questions and I'm home free. Right, Kini? Right, Al. Just be yourself and speak from your heart. Boss, it's the street rat. Yes, and he's got the magical laugh. Shh, here comes the princess. So, Prince Ali of Boo Boo? Um, that's a Baba. Whatever. If you were the Sultan, what is the biggest problem you would fix in Agrabah? Well, Princess, the beggars are the biggest problems in Africa. Oh, sure. Blame the poor homeless beggars. You're just like all those other princes. Let me finish. I'd give the beggars jobs and food and a place to live. That way they wouldn't be beggars anymore and everyone would be happy. Exactly. Totally. We have to make the world our own. We can change the world. And if we need to change some dumb old laws that keep people in chains of poverty or make them marry someone they don't want to when the perfect person is standing right in front of them, we have to change those laws. Prince Ali Ababwa, you're too good to be true. Do you ever get lonely being a prince? Only at every day. Until now, that is. There's got to be more to life than what's inside the four walls of the palace. There's a whole new world out there, just waiting for us.
cappuccino orange flip minutes. <laughs> Ginny, for my third wish, I wish to set you free. <gasps> free? Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. I've never been more sure of anything in my whole life. Well then, all I can say is, your wish is my command. <laughs> is our assistant director as well as choreographer Samantha Graham. She's a junior in high school. She did a fantastic job. And uh, as I told your children earlier today, our dances would be completely boring and awful. God forbid if I had to create them all by myself. It'd be terrible. Terrible. And we missed her an enormous amount when she went and started her rehearsals, but she is the female lead in the high school play Valleys and Dolls, and as it comes up, I hope that you guys have the opportunity to go and see that. Sam, when's that performance? May 13th, 14th, and 15th. Listen to that great theater voice. She's homegrown right here from Brunswick Acres. In fact, was it this or the costume last night that you wore? The costume last night. 
was her costume when she was in the King and I, so it's a nice circle comes back around. Another guy that's helped us out and come to a lot of rehearsals is our backstage manager, Mr. Austin Calvano. Come on. Crossroads, and he also was had a beautiful starring role here at Gallant as Chi Fu. You might recognize him, um, or not. He's grown up a lot. And um, I forgot to mention right before the show started um, that the part of the we've, we've had some illness in the last 24 hours. The part of the Tiger God today was played backstage by Mr. Sultan Louis Miano. <laughs> who apparently does not have the immune system that the rest of us teachers have because he spent a couple days with the kids and he's uh, homesick. But he, he painted all of the sets and set up all the microphone equipment and tuned everything and it was great. Right, Mr. Coates and I want to thank you so much for being a great audience. What we're going to do is have the front row. You guys are going to sit um, down, Francis Doyle, and the row behind them, come close, come up, 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 and then sit on your knees. So down on your knees, so your rear end on your knees. And then the row behind them, come forward, and then sit high on your knees. And the row behind them, come forward. Parents, you can start coming up if you'd like to take some pictures. I'm going to get out of the way. And then the row behind them, come forward. Oh, wait. Ready? I lied. Everybody move back in the same position. Go back, back, back. 